Welcome to- Hold up, hold up. There's only one way to intro today's episode, and that's looking under your seat. Look under your seat. Look under your seat. There's something there for you. Curry, come on, come on, come on. It's only a, it's a 60 minute show. There's a pizza under my seat. And you get a pizza. Seat. And you get a There's pizza. A whole and you pizza get a pizza. Under my seat. Yeah. What do we got today? Today we've got a beer that Sean picked out. <laughs> <laughs> Wise Food IPA. 7% from a nice little brewery called Miskatonic. Ooh, nice job. Did I nail it, you think? Yeah, Darien, Illinois. Uh, Miskatonic Brewing Company. 7.0% uh, in IPA, and I actually have recently had this. Why? And really liked it. And then I saw it at the store and wanted to have it on camera. I like the label. Yeah, I do too. It's got triangles. I like triangles. I like when, uh, what are they? I like symmetry. Mm -hmm. It has good symmetry. Mm -hmm. And it's got, looks like a couple different versions of moons. Alexa, stop. Sorry. <laughs> I love when Kramer goes, Isosceles. I like that. I'm going to name my firstborn Isosceles. Isosceles. You know, I love the name Isosceles. If I had a kid, I would name him Isosceles. <laughs> Isosceles Kramer. Uh, and yeah, obviously, if you understood our uh, hilarious intro, today we're having Oprah's brand of pizza. Ooh. It's Oprah That's Good. Real nutritious deliciousness. All of her frozen pizzas are made with partial cauliflower crust. So that's what today is. So she's got four different types. She's got a pepperoni, she's got five cheese, supreme, and fire roasted veggie. We went with the pepperoni. Also, she makes soup and potatoes. Oh, wow, I like potatoes. So potato. if you're a soup and potato kind of guy or girl, get yourself some Oprah Winfrey. All right, I'm ready. You guys know how it goes. No need for all the chitter chatter. This was in for way more than the suggested time. Hopefully it's cooked. What it's looking, looking good, yeah. yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Very cardboardy. I'm not even getting cardboard, it's like eating a sponge. I didn't get any sponge characteristics. Or like wet cardboard. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Somewhere in the middle of that. <laughs> Which no one can argue is not a great review of your uh -uh. pizza. But Obra, Obra doesn't return my calls. Trying to get on the show. Do you think that if I made a drink that was vodka with a squirt of lime in it, that I could be like present it as a, a like just a, hey, you want a fruit juice? Yeah, like that's really what like she did. I'm kind of thinking that twist of cauliflower is like a spritz of lime and an alcohol beverage. <laughs> like I don't think there's much cauliflower in here. Or maybe there is enough what tastes like trash, but I mean it doesn't taste like trash, but um. So these are distributed by Mealtime Stories, which is literally a mile and a half from this apartment no in the West Loop on Randolph. Oprah had her studio in on the block that International McDonald's now resides inside. Mm. They demolished her building, said, get out of here, Oprah, and they built their own campus. Um, so Oprah has had a huge tie to Chicago for a long time, and now she brought cauliflower cauliflower to us. And um, I'm just assuming there's not act, I mean, dude, here's what, if you saw our Jets video. This is the best pizza I've ever had, bro. Can you imagine this? That's cauliflower crust. Oh my God, man. Not regular amazing. crust, that insane? I love cauliflower now, man. It's my favorite crust now. <laughs> Cauliflower crust can be done in a way that you'd never know it was cauliflower. Right. So it's not that we're like, we can't taste it. This is just, it's like eating a sponge. Like yeah. it's spongy. And I tried finding out exactly how much cauliflower yeah. is in this. Cause I don't, they felt tricky that mm -hmm. they told us there's just a twist of it. Right. I'm like, well, how much is a twist? And it was pretty ambiguous. It says a third of our crust is made of cauliflower, but then there's an asterisk. And then there's more information that doesn't explain it. So I just am doubting that there's a ton of cauliflower in here. I'm wondering, what's the nutritional value on this? I mean, to be completely honest with you, it's not any less like calories. That's the thing. That's like, another indicator. 320 calories for a fifth of the pizza. So I mean, that's 
that's, well, that's another, 1,600 calories for that whole pizza. That's another indicator, I feel like, that that's probably not very much cauliflower in it. But this yeah, because like cauliflower is way less calories than regular dough. Mm -hmm. This is not a healthy alternative. That's what I think right. is true. I don't think it's a healthy not alternative. Not a healthy alternative. And it's, I, I, you know what? It's not a bad pizza. Not, no, it's not bad. So it's like, how much do you kind of weigh in? Oh, that's nice, I'm getting some cauliflower. I think this is just a perfect marketing ploy. That's I think smart. she killed it. She did another Oprah thing where like, she makes people think that you're do you're like revamping your life mm -hmm. and you're supporting somebody who clearly wants like quality ingredients. When like just putting a twist of cauliflower, this will sell this pizza. This box will sell this pizza. Oh yeah. It sold it for us. Be like, oh. Oprah. Well, at least the beer's delicious. Yeah, this is great. And this isn't bad pizza. I It's frozen pizza. It's just not a great frozen pizza, but it's not healthy, so whatever, you know? I know. Every time I eat a frozen pizza, I go, well, tomorrow I'm going to have to work that off. Right. Got to hit the old treadmill or whatever. You yeah, know? just be punching that treadmill like, why? Why? Why'd you do this to me? Hit it. Hit it. You know? You I don't, say, really, I don't you think I know how to work out. You take things so literally. I don't know how to work my out. My feet are hitting the treadmill. Uh, not in my hands. No, uh, I've never gotten into a fight before. <laughs> With a treadmill? And it's anything. <laughs> All right, uh, before we rate this pizza, a quick shout out. Shirt out, shirt out, shirt out. People have bought multiple items out of the number six with cheese store. Jacksonville, Florida, I used to live there. Big fan of the show. One of the pivotal members of really just- Absolutely. Liking everything on Twitter, commenting on the videos. We've FaceTimed with her before. She's great. Miss Amanda Evans. Woo! Amanda bought a um, two. Oh, this is cool. She bought two sticker sheets as soon as we launched the stickers. Bo so because she did that, she gets her name set. That's right. She's also had so it. many orders on our store. She's a boss. So she deserves that. And then shirt shout out, whatever, merch shout out number two. Yeah, shirt shout out number two. We've got this one I'm excited about. This is Thomas, I think, Bruckman. Great. The reason I think and I don't know is because he's got a couple of dots above his U, which I love because he, oh, I know, I'm getting to it. Because he is from Germany, yeah. which is so cool to me that we're shipping stuff out to random places in the old, old Germany, my old stomping ground. And this young gentleman got himself not only a jump cut shirt, but also an eat it bit shirt. So, man, what a fan. Yeah. Getting, going international, boys. And I apologize for getting so excited. I saw the Germany, and I went, oh, if he doesn't know, he's oh, going to love this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So. All right. Eric, our off-screen producer. Drum roll, please. Thank you, sir. Thumbs up or thumbs down on whether or not you like this. You get this again. You kind of put your name to this pizza as a recommendation. Whatever. Oh! I probably would have been cool with it if it didn't try to BS me. Dude, I honestly was gonna say the same thing. If it didn't even say cauliflower, I'd be like, yeah, it's I'd a be like, decent, oh, it's a decent, decent frozen pizza. I still might have downed it because it wasn't great. It's still spongy. It was still, it was still, it was right at that 50% mark. Kind of like really the last close. one where it's it was really like, close. it could be, but it could not be. It was right. But the fact that you tried to BS me, it's like, F you, you know? Let's see how this pepperoni is. Pepperonis are better than the, the, the not Nick and Vito's. Saltier. Which is kind of a bummer for Nick and Vito's. A little salt, yeah. Well, whatever. Let us know if you've had any of the Oprah's foods from the frozen and refrigerator aisle. Let us know if any of the other ones are worth getting. <laughs> if you want to see us eat soup on this channel, <laughs> we just did that. Soup Soup it up. Hey, how come we're only getting 400 views on these soup videos? 10 bucks, uh, it, the video would not end without you pouring beer into your soup. Yeah, I know. What a camera. bitsy, dumb thing to do. <laughs> we'll see you guys Monday for a brand new video. Thank you so much for rocking with us. If you have any suggestions at all for stuff we should get from the frozen food aisle, hit us with them down below. I'm having a seizure again. And we'll see you guys Monday. Share! It's the weekend. I'll have a drink. Also, rep that Eric Ely, that electric Ely life, bro.